Hey folks, this is GGN3. Ah, uh, that here's my fourth update on what I have right now in my anime collection. Ah, uh, couple things I wanted to make mention of. I one, I didn't really do much splurging like I did from the last update I had given you. And two, I did wind up getting rid of some of my anime on eBay that I did for some auctions over the summer. So you won't be, you're, I will be missing some titles that I had from the last update that I had. Mainly Last Exile, My Hime, uh, some of the two, the Tenchi Muyo and Love Movie, Tenchi Universe, Elfin Lead, Nausicaa, The Valley of the Wind, just some examples, but I, right now, I'll show you what I have on me right now, on this shelf, not too much I have new here, Stub, both seasons of School Rumble, Black, both seasons of Black Lagoon, Arjuna, Berserk, Mushishi, Gunslayer Gore, both seasons, Hack Sign, the entire first season of Full Metal Alchemist, Lane, and what I can't get in the corner because of how dark it is, the Cowboy Bebop Remix. Down below, sorry about the webcam, Star of Nadia, Star of Noyan, Gungrave, Beck, Kiminozo, and there. Right now, I'll show you the first new edition that I have. This right here is Eden of the East. Came out not too long ago. Ah. Uh, Anyone who liked the Oasis op intro music you shouldn't be too surprised because of how expensive it would be for Funimation to afford the rights to it. You'll only be able to hear the opening song from Oasis in its lyrical version for the first episode. The rest of it is just an instrumental version. Otherwise, you get the entire series on DVD. I believe the first movie for it's now out as I speak. And the second one should be coming out any sometime later this year. Alright. Give me a moment to put this back. Alright. Moving on, still have Trigun, still have Great Teacher Oniska, still have Paradise Kiss, Key the Metal Idol, Fruits Basket, Asamega Dio, Hibernate Reme, Rasafan. This one over here is one of my new ones as well. This is Piano, it's a 10 episode series from Right Stuff. It's a slice of life title. Uh, it is an acquired taste, so might not be for everybody. And of course, I still have Emma Victorian Romance in the corner as well. Alright, moving on. Alright, we're now over on the bigger shelf. Uh, this one, I only have one new title that I've added. I'll get to it when I do. Otherwise, I'll show you what I still have on me. Still have Oran Host Club. Still have my $300 bid for Kimiguri Orange Road, Blue Drop, Reader Die TV, Kino's Journey, His and Her Circumstances, Koi Kaze, Now and Then, Here and There, Spice and Wolf. And this one in the middle is my new edition. This is a save edition set for Welcome to the NHK. Uh, 
Only has all, has all the episodes. Only special feature clean opener and close the sequences because as not to be surprised with Funimation style on the features when it comes to their cheaper stuff. Alright, moving forward. Also have Footy Cody, the School Rumble OVA, the Gunslinger Girl El Teatrino OVA, Video Garai, Tenchi Buyo, Castle, and then the rest of my movies are up yonder. Sorry for how dark it is, but let me make it out as best as I can. The Kimigori Orange Road movie, Castle in the Sky, Reader Die, The Girl Luck Through Time, Tokyo Godfathers, Porco Rosso, Jinro, Millennium Actress, Perfect Blue, Kiki's Delivery Service, Grave of the Fireflies, Princess Mononoke, and the Full Metal Alchemist, Conqueror of Shambhala movie. Moving on. Okay. Now over at, the enterta at my entertainment oh. stand. This is where much of the new stuff I got got is now over. But this is a bit different than how I've previously gotten things, which I'll get to in a moment. But, alright. Here. Yeah. We still have all four seasons of Mugir Watches over us, and the Pac-10 they have, the Tenchi Muyo OVAs. Now we get over to the new stuff. Alright. In case you can't notice, uh... In this middle row right here, I now have the, I have an entire thin set to Samurai 7. And then up above, I have a save collection set of the Chevalier Down. And then up here in the middle shelf, nearly much of everything I have here is new. Right here, I have Kaleido Star. Then up above is a save edition for Red Garden. Then a set of the irresponsible Captain Tyler. Then above that, I have Requiem from the from the Phantom. Yeah, Requiem from the Darkness, and then I have a box set with both seasons of Magical Knight Ray Earth and my latest buy, which I've already gotten a chance of seeing some of Wars. All right. Now, I'll explain what the big deal is regarding the titles that I have in the middle. Ah, uh, back in October, I started up a Netflix subscription. It's all well and good since it allows me to rent anime that I otherwise wouldn't normally have. No, wouldn't normally want to risk down downloading or buy, buying the white for it to wind up being crap. However, one of the setbacks with Netflix is if you if they are missing a volume to a series which they won't have for a while or very likely you will never see the light of day of from Netflix ever considering we're starting to go away from DVD into Blu-ray. If you're missing a volume to a TV or OVA series and you're dying to watch the series, well, you're screwed and you can't get it off Netflix. So, I had to wind up hunting down and down and getting my hands on the DVD sets for any title that I thought would be decent enough that I wanted to at least check out at some point whenever I got a chance. So, whatever I have in the middle, which is mainly Samurai 7, the Chevalier de On, Kaleido Star, Red Garden, Captain Tyler, Requiem from the Darkness, and Ray Earth. There's what I have set aside for a rainy day if nothing from Netflix or what I normally get from online help me out. In terms of my future plans, 
I'm still gonna chug away on Netflix. Like we had any other problems like I did with certain titles. If it's all good and there's anything that I know would at least be somewhat decent to check out based on what I've heard about it, then I'll dig in. And for right now, there's not really very much else I plan to buy otherwise. Wise that I've already seen. Ah. Uh, they, I'm, I'm hearing Spice and Wolf 2 and the OVA series that's out for the, for Black Lagoon are supposed to be coming out sometime this year from Funimation, but whenever they get to releasing both titles, I do definitely plan on buying them, but other than that, I don't really have very much plans for buying since I'm not in the mood to splurge as much as I did from last year. But this is my collection as it is for right now. Uh, this is GGN3 signing off.